Hello, St. James families. My name is Margarita Grady. I am a licensed clinical social worker, and um, I've lived here in Warrington um, 20 years, and I have been providing mental health services for that same amount of time to children and families. And Father Ben asked me to make a video to talk with you a little bit about what you can do to help navigate these paradoxical times that we're living in with your children. And we are in the middle of a huge paradox. Here it is um, springtime, it's almost Easter, and all of a sudden we're not going anywhere, and there is danger, and yet we can't see it. And the times are very, very stressful for all of us. And the first thing that I want to ask you to do is make sure that you are taking care of yourself so that you can be that calm, cool, collected adult that your children so badly need right now. They need you to be the leader, and in order for you to be able to do that, you need to be taking some time for some prayer, some meditation, some journaling, something to help you work through the stress. You want to make sure that you're getting exercise and some outside time, and you want to make sure that you're eating healthy and getting enough sleep. The next thing I want to ask you to do is explain what's going on as simply as you can to your children and then leave it alone unless they ask you questions. You can explain about that we can't see the virus but that um, it could make us sick and so that's why we're staying home. Um, whatever you need to do on their terms. If you have teens, of course, you're going to want to talk about it a little bit more because they have access to all the information and you want to moderate that. You want to be there asking them what questions they have and guiding them through this. You want to limit everybody's access to the news. So for yourself, set however amount of time that you want to spend checking on the news and then um, stop. You want to really limit young children's access. So if you're watching the news, have them doing something else. And for teenagers, you want to attempt to limit their screen time so they're not getting caught down a rabbit hole of all the information that's out there. Just as an aside, the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends no more than two hours of screen time per day for children. It's really important right now. So plan for that and they're gonna be mad at you and that is okay. So providing structure. You wanna provide as much structure as you can because the more structure you're providing, the more that they know you are in charge and the more that they know you are in charge, the safer they're going to feel. So set up a timeline, set aside some time for some academic pursuits, set aside some time for screen time, Plan your meals so that they're happening at about the same time every day. Plan some downtime where they don't have screens. Make sure that your bedtime is consistent and make sure, make sure, make sure that they are getting outside every day and playing. Even if it's raining, that's okay. Just get them outside because they need to move and you don't want them cooped up in the house because they are, um, they're going to start acting out and none of us wants that. So keep them as active as you possibly can. When you're winding down for the day, that is a great time to allow them some one-on-one -on -one or one-on-two playtime with you. And don't direct the play, let them play. Let them pick out what toys they wanna use, let them play whatever game they wanna play, play with them, but don't guide the play. Just let them do their thing. And that is going to be their way of processing through what's going on in their minds. And you don't even need to talk about what they're doing. You just need to play with them. It's really healthy. It's great. You're all going to enjoy it. And you're going to be providing them with some really needed opportunities to work through the stress. So get down there and enjoy your kiddos. Something that you can do if you want a little bit more to do for them is find some things that they can do to help others. That could be writing letters to folks in nursing homes that aren't having any visitors right now. Uh, you could be making jewelry to send to grandma. You could be, oh, I don't know. Um, they could even be helping you cook so that they're helping the family. They can be helping you with chores. Children actually, especially younger than nine, love to do chores, so get them involved. So that is just dipping a toe in the waters of what we can do. 
I will be happy to make more videos if Father Ben thinks it will be helpful. Um, I love being in touch with people, even from my armchair here.